Hi there. Welcome to another presentation of our Globe Sound Healing Conference. This time we have Sylvina, who's one of our instructors for a really long time. Oh my God. Sylvina, I always tell people, Sylvina takes people into the depths of their soul to release the shadow side that they didn't even know they have. <laughs> it's profound class that she actually teaches to really, really uh, just unbelievably transformative, right? Sylvina specializes in sound work and movement. She holds a certification in sound healing and has completed training in Sahuka, a synthesis of Egyptian alchemy, Taoism, and Tibetan Buddhism. With more than 25 years of experience, she conducts sound healing classes and seminars utilizing sound, breathing techniques, movement, and shamanic work to facilitate emotional, physical, and mental release to reawaken the body's innate wisdom and deep sense of awareness. The process creates a profound state of peace to access the subtle energy fields of consciousness and transformation. Her multidisciplinary uh, background includes hypnotherapy, intuitive development, emotional process techniques, and vibrational healing body work. Um, she uh, has training as a holistic cal uh, counselor, classically trained singer, and dance instructor and has passionately dedicated her life to the healing arts as a conscious guide and educator for developing hu human potential. She works with adults, uh, children, and teenagers. She also works as a facilitator at uh, San Francisco General in a special program for cancer patients and hosts her Spanish radio show on con consciousness. Welcome, Sylvina. Thank you, David. So what have you been up to lately? Well, uh, I have been doing a lot of um, sessions, private sessions, and I will share my experience with the audience. Um, during the quarantine time, I have been taking uh, Buddhist psychology courses, and I currently keep studying uh, mm -hmm. to enhance the practice and to work with clients and students. Uh -huh. Cool, cool. I've got a question. I should have asked you before and told you what it was, but I got a big question. I've been asking everybody. Okay, if you had all the money in the world, what would you do to help the people on the planet? Wow. <laughs> I, would give, I would give sound healing courses um, all over the world to the schools, to teenagers, children, adults, elderly. Um, I will share this with everybody. And because I'm gonna have all the possibilities to travel and, and share my heart. Uh -huh. I play the crystal ball. <laughs> and, and, and share my heart with everybody and the boys. This is what um, I will be doing. There's uh -huh. no question. Cool. Cool. So we have a actual recording from uh, a while back when we did our concert at Brava Theater mm -hmm. and where you're playing the crystal bowl. And I wanted to play this as a meditation for everyone. Um, any, you know, maybe we could uh, think of an intention for this meditation while as an opening. Great. We can... Um... Connect to your heart and ask yourself, what is the inner dialogue with your heart? What is really, really, really in my heart? And allow the sound and the frequencies to flow within your inner being. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Let me share the screen again and go full screen. And here we are. Enjoy. Let's see. Not playing. Oh, here we go. No, back getting. Here we go. Enjoy. Hello, everybody. Hello. Thank you. Welcome. We are going to co create and set up the intention for this evening. I'm going to guide you into a short sound meditation 
into the heart. I really appreciate, we all appreciate to be here together today. Please close your eyes and enjoy yourself. Five minutes, just five minutes. And take a deep breath. It and feel the rhythm of your blood, the rhythm of Mother Earth. Take an infinite inhale and an infinite exhale. And listen to your physical heart and breathe through the heart. Breathe through the heart and send gratitude to your heart. Recall moments of deep gratitude and gratitude spirit
you might have to unmute unmute you and I can't unmute you. Cool. Great. Wow, I'm glad I'm not presenting because I don't know if I could talk now. <laughs> um, what a surprise. Um, I'm touched. Hmm. Because hmm. in those moments, uh, when we allow energies to come through, and we surrender to the energy, so I, it was, I haven't seen this video in a long time, and really, it touched my heart, the energies that were coming through, um, so I don't recognize myself, really, <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, cool, so anyways, um, I'm a little bit shocked now. I'm sorry, thank you so much. <laughs> I was trying to ground myself and take a deep breath, and I felt emotional um, because of the energies that came through the mm -hmm. moment that were very, very powerful. Uh, Mother, Mother Earth, and, and Gaia, and the heart, and the collective heart, and what is exactly what we need in the world. Right. For transformation. Cool. Yeah. So what's what's the essence of your presentation about? My presentation today is exactly about the power is in your voice. So why the power is in your voice? Because we can listen to music, frequencies, sound, tones, and that is very powerful, very, very powerful. How can influence our energy field and our emotions and mind. But when we use the voice, when we really, really acknowledge the power of our natural voice and use it as a vehicle to transmute, to release, to transform, to express. It's the most creative and musical instrument that we have. The voice and the breath the voice is the manifestation of breath, and breath is life. So today, I'm going to focus, we're going to work on the voice, but I like to use the analogy of the voice as a laser. When we focus, when we concentrate all the frequencies and energy and thoughts and intention and we can use it as a laser i i have a teacher that he was always saying that we can create our inner lab like a laboratory using your voice by toning toning creating free forms of tones and that simple tool is so so powerful so we can connect the link of thought breath and voice when we have different thoughts our breathing patterns start changing and our voice is changing so if we do our inner work an emotional work and we really can release emotion through the use of our voice at this point probably people that are listening they are aware what toning is it's the use of your voice in a free form so when we do inner work and we reach higher levels of consciousness and energy our voices start changing the tone the color, the 
sequence, we start changing the way we express. So talking about the voice, we can talk about using the voice as a vehicle for healing, to, for releasing, expressing, but also sometimes we have difficulty to express what we need to say. And we have our issues in the fifth chakra and all different areas in the body. I had a session lately uh, where the person, the client, uh, had some issues about expressing, about to say what this person wanted to say. So we worked in many different layers and layers. So yes, there was restriction, constriction, judgment. But we find out the frustration. And, and in that, there was a lot of fear. It's interesting, we started to work on communication and expression, but we end up working on fears. Everybody's different, of course. So, and it was amazing to see the, the transformation by this person by using the voice and releasing, and using that laser to go in different parts of the body. To find, as the description of the workshop says, the dense areas of the body, sometimes we have accumulation of energy, and we have the habit, sometimes when we are under stress, the habit of the tension in our neck, shoulder, stomach, low back. So, and then we start to accumulate our emotions and fears into those areas of the body. So with the voice, we can really release and work through that. In the description says well-being. Why through the voice, the power of the voice, we can find well-being? Yes, because we can work in our emotional state, we can work in our mental, physical, spiritual. In one of my lately uh, sessions, uh, one of my clients, uh, he had issues with high blood pressure. And after the session, he sent me a text message and said, Sylvina, the numbers are perfect now and I didn't take the medication. That's, that's why we talk about well-being. Well-being because uh, working with cancer patients and uh, support groups for that and, and giving um, sound healing meditation and sound work. And sometimes they say, hey, I'm not in pain right now and I didn't take the medication. So it depends how we use the voice, the tone, how we do the toning. We can activate different chemicals in the brain, right? So uh, there are studies on the overtones that Tibetan monks um, practice, that when they do the overtones, that vibration, that massaging different part of the brain or activating the pineal gland, the pituitary gland, consider them mother gland of the endocrine system. And then it's finding balancing, balance into the whole energy system. So there are many different aspects about using the voice to release emotions. And also something interesting that if we can sustain a tone, if we can sustain, sustain a vibration for a good period of time with our voice, we can go beyond into our consciousness and start to develop different levels of awareness. And some, something amazing can rise, something, an inner world, 
and we can discover. And again, we have our inner lab. If we keep toning, if we keep meditating through the sound of our voice. Our voice is a vehicle for healing. So I work as a medical interpreter as well. Yesterday I was in a, in a waiting room and I was listening to different voices. So we can see how thoughts, state of mind or consciousness can affect the vocal tone so I listened to some voices that were touching my heart. They were anxious. In some, some of the voices, there were some notes missing. There were some monotonic sounds. Some voices that were more airy, some earthy voices. But we can tell, we can tell after a while, when we develop that awareness of our own voice and other people's voices, we can start seeing images through the voices. We can listen something else be besides, behind that voice. So it's interesting to connect the link between the thought patterns and the voice and the breathing, and the body. So, I have a thought of worry, stress out, my breathing patterns start changing. My voice is not the same. My voice is reflecting my thoughts. So the link of thoughts, breathing, the muscle tension, and the voice. So when we discover, we, when we all can discover the power that really, really is in the voice. I used to have a radio show and I noticed it when I was reading paragraph and the intention behind. But the intention, it was a genuine intention because we can change voices. Oh, I'm gonna make a, a voice, uh, a deeper voice, I can make a, a lighter voice, but I'm talking about a genuine sound, a genuine intention, a genuine motivation. So the audience, uh, the callers were expressing that they noticed it when I was reading the paragraphs. It's, when you read, when you were reading that, it was really penetrating penetrating in my being and I was feeling it I was feeling that when I was breathing it was in my heart and that's the way we can reach people's heart so I always say we cannot give what we don't have in sound so we become that we feel that and the voice can express what is within so I would like for everybody right now, if you can close your eyes and take a deep breath and fill up your lungs with air. And then when we exhale, we exhale through the mouth and imagine that the whole body is a balloon that is inflating and relax. So you're expanding your bones, expanding your skin, expanding the whole body as a balloon. And any tensions, you let it go. So we're gonna practice this again. We take a deep breath, close your eyes, fill up the lungs, and then we exhale through the mouth and open as a balloon and let it go. And when you excel, notice if there are any colors in this balloon. We are gonna do it one more time. Take a deep breath, fill up 
your lungs and then when you exhale you are inflating this balloon and the joints are expanding you feel the air in the joints and notice if you see any colors and trying to tone trying to sing that color as you imagine this balloon expanding and expanding and expanding notice the difference in your breathing patterns the mind is very important where is the mind where are my thoughts and what's going on with my body when we talk about the dense part of the body in the description of the workshop the accumulation of feelings and emotions into some part of the body and we are going to work through that I would like you to feel free with your voice maybe people are listening for the first time and remember that you always can come and feel the vibration in your face in classical singing um, we talk about about the mask singing with the mask because the vibration is in the mask what you can do is just hum or create any sound with your voice any bow to release and to work through your voice let's we're going to work with the five elements and the voice can have the different qualities of the five elements fire water air earth and ether so please close your eyes and take a deep breath infinite inhale and infinite exhale connect to the center of the planet find a very comfortable position to meditate Feel the resonance of the earth and allowing cosmic energy to come through the top of your head. And let's create a dot of golden light in the center of your throat, at the base of your throat. Take a deep breath and let it expand. to the energy of the sun the light of the sun the fire and imagine that light, that light is melting through the spine into your energy system and feel that fire and tone that frequency that color your own tone, the vibration of the fire.
the waterfalls, recall the oceans. Take a deep breath. And imagine the waterfalls, the oceans, the lakes, the river. Sense the frequency, sense the resonance. Bring it in. Take a deep breath. And allow that element, water, to come through the spine, through the top of your head. And feel that the frequency of the oceans, the waters, the rain. And in your own sound, you can hum, but just feel it. I'm going, going to create my own sounds. lives and our lives can change take a deep breath and connect to earth feel the resonance of other earth through your legs into your channels up into the spine and create your own sound expressing earth Reconnect to the center of the planet and listen to your heart and ask yourself, what is the area of my body that is always reacting, that always, always there is tension or something that is tense right now in my body? Just we are meditating with your eyes closed, 
we need to find this quiet place to really, really listen to the body. And ask that part of the body, what is the physical sensation right now? tension is aching pain contracted what do you feel physically and take a deep breath through that physical sensation say hello to that and ask that part of the body Can you give me a color that represents that physical sensation? A color. Just ask the body, what is the color? And take a deep breath and feel that sensation, that color. Take a deep breath and ask, what is the feeling behind? Is the feeling. Take deep breath and feel that. Allowing, allow yourself to feel that. What is the feeling? What is that color, the physical sensation, and what is the emotion? Take a deep breath and just allowing, give permission, permission to the body to talk to you and say what I feel physically and behind the emotion. Show me a shape that can represent that color, that shape, that physical sensation. that color to that shape to that physical sensation in the body what is the sound what is the sound that you need to express what is the sound ask your voice and allow the voice be very compassionate with your voice and create a tone it's very important to create a tone
eyes closed, remember that you can tone into your organs. We have the, non, the non-audible sound and you can tone in your organs. Listen to the sound of your heart. Listen to the sound of your eyes. Listen to the sound of your brain. Listen to the sound of your liver, your pancreas, your intestine, your glands. Listen to the thymus gland. Go into your thymus gland, in the center of your sternum, in your chest. Close your eyes and listen to the vibration. And feel free to tone any sound. your own sound. You can create your own lab. Go within. What frequencies, what color, what do I need? What my thymus gland what my liver needs, my spine, my vertebrae. Just go and check with your eyes closed and allow the ether and the air to come and flow into the spaces of your spine, in your joints. Allow that air. Remember, when you sustain a tone for a long period, for a good period of time, you can sustain a level of awareness and we can develop different levels of awareness with sound, toning. yourself where is that part of my being where there is always unconditional love forgiveness acceptance listen to the color the vibration What is the feeling? What is the emotion? Take a deep breath and find a shape that represents that feeling, that emotion, that color of unconditional love, acceptance. Breathe that color 
become that color and allow those colors to go into your cells, into your energy system, into your spine, into the spinal fluid. Deep breath and create a sound. What is the sound? Create your own sound. We do our inner work. The vocal tone start changing. Notice the physical body. Notice any changes. And it's interesting that I always say, listen to the color. Because through the years, working with sound and feeling the sound and sound vibrating into the brain, into the pineal gland, different areas of the brain are activated. So, and it's very common to start to see colors when we listen to sound. That's why many times I've said, listen to the sound, listen to the color, because it's something that's very natural. So I would like you to go into your heart, into the sacred chamber of the heart, and connect to gratitude. Ask yourself, what are you grateful for? And feel the resonance of gratitude. Just make a simple list. I'm so grateful to be here with all of you. I'm so grateful that we are connecting at a planetary global level. I'm so grateful to be here with the challenges and the lessons. I'm so grateful for your heart. I'm so grateful for the spirit. I'm so grateful for you, that we have the opportunity to connect and listen and stop and connect to from another dimension. Remember that emotions have a vibratory frequency. And we were, when we are in fear, frustration, anger, that is affecting our bodies. And we can release, we can use our voice. It, we can connect to the different circuits in the brain and we can develop different levels of consciousness through sound, sustaining a level of awareness.
Listen to the sound of gratitude in the heart. Let's put a dot of golden light in the heart, in your physical chest. Take a deep breath and let it expand. And please, feel free and give permission to yourselves to create a sound or an ah. 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 Remember, the voice is the manifestation of breath, and breath is life. Infinite inhale through your nose, and just allow the air to expand again through your body, and we, you exhale. Let that balloon expand. Remember the color of gratitude for yourself. You took a deep breath. Breathe the color, become the color. And you start to emanate that into your organs, into your bones, into your cells into your life. Thank you. We are going to conclude this lesson for today. And hope to see you soon. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sylvina. So, I'm sorry? Are you recording? Yes, we're still going. So, do you have a package that you wanted to share for the conference at all? Um, well, I have a private sessions. Mm -hmm. So um, people can call me. I have my four one five. Oh, is that is that on the uh, uh, offering for the conference? Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, they I can sign up there on the conference website. Yes, I put it in the conference uh, website, but also I think that I didn't uh, write my phone number. I put my web and my email. 
okay. um, Vergara.com and then it's 415-571-3277 uh -huh. my own people can connect and, and that's very awesome. uh -huh. cool well thank you for all that you do thank you so much it's Mark. really beautiful i'm going to play the closing video now <laughs>